So we're in IEM Sydney, the first ever big tier one CS2 tournament. So this is like the one which starts the new cycle. It feels like a perfect timing for the team to have new motivation and new energy. We want to find the stability and uh, to be always performing at our best. We've been waiting for this game to come out for five, five months, it feels like, six months. At the end of CSGO, we kind of like dimmed up, we didn't really find anything new. The motivation wasn't the same as it is now, so coming in here and doing good is something that means, uh, means a lot to us. Winning this event would, would mean a lot of things, it would set a great foundation for the team. We've talked all weekend about stories, about creating a memory. A team in and out of form, looking to show the world that they are still on top. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like and comment and subscribe for more CS2 content. I mean, ESL Pro League took like couple of weeks. The unfortunate timing was the new game was being released at the time you were there, so it was kind of hard to keep up the motivation and still play the old game while the new game was coming out and uh, people were just hungry to play a new Counter-Strike. Yeah, for the past few months it's been kind of hard, but um, yeah, with CS2 I think, you know, we saw it coming. They announced the beta like, back when we won the Grand Slam in March. You were like thinking what's going to happen over the next six months, like when's the game's going to release, when the tournament's going to switch to the new game. So there was a lot of questions in the air and it didn't help with all the stuff going on in the team, you know, because it was a lot of uncertainty. I think the atmosphere inside the team coming to this event has been like when we first created the team. Uh, we stayed up at night at home just finding new stuff. We had discussed everything. We had two hours of theory every day and we just grinded the shit out of that game, it feels like, you know. We, we're very far ahead in utility device and the way you should play it uh, compared to other teams. I don't think a lot of teams have shown a lot of as, as much new stuff as we are coming into this tournament. I would say the atmosphere in the team is very good. I don't think anyone really cares what happened in the last few months since it's just so a fresh start for every team. They haven't played uh, Cisco uh, Nuke. Oh, okay, that's been it. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to bring up bad vibes, but the last time we played Snacks on Nuke, uh, I didn't do so well. <laughs> yeah. Different, I mean, con different I country. I feel great, man. Can't wait to play this game. Totally ready to be released, but you know what? It's gonna be a great game, uh, which is Game Religion. Very excited. First game in CS2. Phase out. Yes, it's, it's the best of one of them. We need to be <laughs> focused, we need to be focused from the beginning, boys, and let's fucking enjoy playing together, okay? Try to be aware of the sound, guys. Like, try to give safe information. I know the sound is a little bit fucked on this map, but let's just try to. Okay, can be quiet we? And something smells fucking bad here. Can we hurry up? My shit so oh, Something's yeah. fucking wrong. <laughs> Dude, something smells wrong here. <laughs> What's the word? What? Kangaroo? It's kangaroo, okay. Cracky. One, two, three, kangaroo! Especially considering they've been struggling, but Rops is making it sing early. Oh, that is gonna work for him. Oh, Rops, what are you doing? They go a court on the chase, Brokey denies and Ezek will try to do what he can. He wins a second duel as well. Down towards Decon. Aiko will give plenty of presents, immediately deleted by Twist, who looks everywhere and it snacks now. Has he spotted Twist? I think he may have, but Twist will deliver. And the angle is horrible for Vault. He's halfway there though. That clock is ticking and Carrigan hasn't shown himself. Oh. He finally has and he's clutched it. Green is collapsing for FaZe. And it's down to Brokey. They line up for Kios and the all cuts them to ribbons. And that's going to be it. Gamer Legion have done it. It's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. And they finish in style in overtime versus phase on you. After losing the first match, I'm um, not going to lie, it was looking pretty dark because, um, you know, you get kind of reminded of the last few results we had. And like you're having these thoughts in mind that, you know, are we going to go out the same day? Shock, I would say for sure. Um, because everyone's been, you know, grinding CS2 and looking so forward to it. I think no one wanted that to happen. I 
against Vitality, we knew they're in a, not in a great situation. So we knew like we got the advantage in terms of the vibe and the team chemistry. Our team is mentally strong whenever, you know, things get rough. That's when guys perform the best. Come. We had a good, good game before. It wasn't perfect, but we had some good rounds. And, good piss uh, rounds, though. Yeah, good piss yeah, rounds. Keep nice. it that way. Keep Add some gun rounds. The word is it's content. content. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah I like it. We're in Australia, bro. <laughs> it's fucking allowed here, bro. <laughs> to finish it off with a bullet of his own. It's Brokey that takes the fight. It's Robs that goes down truck side. And now he knows where they both oh. are. It's all flamesy right now. Double kill, Carrigan already bleeding out from the HG. Oh, and no. it's clean from Flame. Brokey and Carrigan's ears are ringing as well. And there's three here on the site. They're gonna do it. Phase's pick falling through their fingers. And that's Brokey can clutch up Summon Fierce, it's not to be. Now another step back out. Twist is able to find one, Ooh. make it two. That's three for the round. And too many on his plate, you think? Yeah, nice. Double dink. Twist leaves with a quad. I think short's the right decision, but they still have to get through Magic. They do after the first. Here comes Saiwu, though. The alligator does nothing. And FaZe, one frag away from taking this the distance on the first day of play. And they will take us. Now Rops has got four players on his agenda. Beautiful for Rops. Give him the ace. This. He's gonna spot him, takes down Apex, it's only two of them. Zywu and Sphinx, up to Zywu, he doesn't have the health! And no! Faze gets no! Vitality no! down! They live to fight no! another day! Oh. You, you tired? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's 12.30 in the morning. <laughs> Fucking well done though, that was, that was a crazy match. I don't know how many steps I did. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Last week, we'll show you the shot. See you, see you, see you. See you. Uh. <laughs>I'm last. Yeah, I'm last. It's not like I'm doing it for myself. I think we haven't sat down as a team and talked about what the, what the goal is for this tournament. But what I feel like is is kind of like for my POV or for my view is that uh, making playoff was kind of the goal. Every single day we played the game, something new happened, something we had to adapt, something we had to talk about, and I think that's what I have missed a bit in the past few years because. I feel like I know a lot about Cisco, uh, how to lose, how to win the game, and what things to focus on, right? So many small details that you can fine tune right now, but also the bigger scale is super interesting, and I'm just looking forward to, to go back up to practice room and, and get going again. Oh, well, I'm a boots running against oh. me. <laughs> again, <laughs> because behind you, there's not. No, it's a fucking range, bro. You're dead, bro. Oh, it was wrong. Who oh, <laughs> fucked bro. my guns? Who did something? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> What did you do? I didn't touch anything. Yeah. Yeah. Did you reset the game? I don't need to stress you reset the game. game. I have time to set up. Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Who did something? Yeah. And let's let's fucking play good CS guys, okay? Let's play with fucking balls. So today we're playing very good pistol, let's keep out the pressure the whole time, okay? Yep. Um, we know the we know the rounds and we just know we need to play our game, we're gonna fucking beat them. Yeah. We're gonna trust each other and have some fun. We go count. Cunts fucking speed brother. It's been a good fucking day with the mood guys, let's fucking keep it up, okay? So we're still saying content free? Of course. Yeah. One, two, three, go! Let's go boy! He's gonna give it a go, but the first bullet from the Glock, good. Alexi B puts him back down. Blade. Down to Brokey. And yeah, that first bullet probably needed to be a headshot now. He's running short on time. All the way from short pipe to finish off the job. And twists, wow, just drives into the fight. Carrigan, gonna handle Blade with ease. It's Imep with the first of the 1v3. Nearly the second. Twist, he's not stopping for anyone. That LACB's boost does lead to a frag. Twist down and just the two of them, Brokey and Robs. Sharp shooters, forced into the clutch, jumps straight into the jaws of Bit. Harrigan does go down to Alexi B, tucks in as well, relocates, reloads, and does do a lot of damage to Twist, but Twist wins that duel. JL, what can you do? Nothing. It's, wow. It seems like FaZe Clan. Well, yeah. Gamer Legion.
in that lower bracket final. A spot in the playoffs up for debate between those guys. Actually, after winning against Navi, I started having some hopes back that you can actually go to the playoffs of the tournament because we were going to face Gamer Legion again after beating Navi. And uh, after the first game we lost to them, I knew we can beat these guys because it felt like we could have done so much better than the first game we had against them. And that uh, in the best of three, there's no way they get the advantage. Can you not? Uh, nice. Can we just do full NPC? How's the Tupac? Oh, wait. Yo, what's up, man? It's been so long. When are you coming back? What the fuck are you, man? <laughs> Yo, can I try to hang here? Are you hanging up? <laughs> yeah, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm too scared to do that. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody saw this opportunity. <laughs> I know the last two days have been ups and downs, okay? But you are fucking fighting and the mentality on the last map and the mentality on the last map and mentality. No matter what happens, if you get to third map, we fucking know we're stable, okay? But let's just not go there and play our fucking game. Let's and believe what we've done. It's fun good maps for us, okay? Condon 3. Big one. Condon? Condon 3. Condon 3. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, go! Yeah! Let's go! Over quickly, and Rain's gonna be on the flank as well. And as things start to go wrong on the bomb site, okay, I can't even finish my sentence. They all get wiped out. He could ruin this for them, and he probably will. Great trigger discipline. Isaac in a 1v2. Brokey swings first. Does he hold it? Does he hold it? He has to. He's got no choice. Rain is running to get there in time. That is a big factor here as the swing big. Oh, okay. That was quite a nice one from Rain. And Carrigan. Oh, Carrigan! They're not going to fall for this. Acor gets another. How does Rob solve this puzzle? Oh, that's nasty. They weren't making deep runs consistently enough. People were saying maybe they'll get motivated again once it reaches CS2, but they've got to prove that. And Brokey making money. He's got half the information. Acor in heaven. Now in hell. Kios though, perfectly positioned with the meat shot. This shotgun, surely! Yeah! 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 Takes them to the playoffs. Faze with a hell of a comeback on you. Fucking good battalion, Indiana. Fucking good rushes back, boys. That's how we play Counter-Strike. Winning against Gamer Legion for the playoffs, it felt rewarding. It felt like the grind that we did, did pay off and we had more in the tank. My biggest takeaway is now enjoy the, the stage because we haven't been on many stages this year and be open-minded and learn. So that's three words I'm going to remind myself when I play against ENDS is enjoy, learn and adapt. What are we doing today, coach? Some uh, hero shots, media day, have some fun, maybe some interviews. Day off, it's a good day to have in Sydney. Right? The feeling of coming back to the stage is something that we play for as competitors. Is to play in front of the crowd, play on the stage and getting that energy from the crowd. And I think it's, that's something that our team thrives in. And uh, we have another level when we get to the stage. And uh, once we beat Game Religion, I knew we were going on stage. And there's, there's no limit to what we can do in any, in any tournament. So it felt really good. And uh, the confidence boost from just getting to the arena is pretty high. Last time I was playing on the stage was with Face Clan actually, a couple of years ago at some blast tournaments. Uh, so it feels you know, great to be performing great again. Facing Ants, uh, that's a team that's not going through any changes, it wasn't playing with any stand-ins, so that was uh, like the biggest challenge of all of these games. But coming to this stage, like we knew we were going to do so much better. We have more experience on the team and these guys are uh, not as confident as our guys, I feel like. I think, yeah, my honest opinion is I think maybe Ants is the best team in the world at the moment. Especially in the end of CSGO, I think Ants is a very tough opponent. They have uh, the chemistry out and inside of the game that you don't really see in any other teams. I expected a very tough game coming up against them. Let's bring them back, let's introduce them. It is FaZe Clan! Gonna 
be a lot of bodies charging up. And solid hold from FaZe Clan. All onto Snappy. He's gone too. If they can win against this hodgepodge buy, it will be an eco into the next, and they can try and get back in. Oh, that's perfect. Positioning! Twist gets two on the CC! And Carrigan's already done it once! It's done! Push B very aggressively. Twist. Yeah, he needs both of them. Ooh. Well handled. Oh, oh dear. Rob, swung on. Nothing here for Diha. Clean one for Rain. Wow, FaZe, full control. They found some space. Through the smoke, they have no info. Oh. oh dear! Oh, Twist! Controls the spray, he brings has the, the fight, he doesn't care! He just wants to take oh. it! Twist! To keep the sheet clean, it's beautiful! 12! To keep heads in it, or it's all over from behind! Rain has done it, and FaZe with the perfect finish! Zero. Let that one sink in. Simply unbelievable. After winning ends in such a dominant fashion, I think that's when it's like slowly starting to kick in our heads that we've done a really good job back home, and you know the preparation and practice we've done has been really useful, and it's giving us success in this tournament. The way we just communicated with each other, the way we played, the way we listened to our comps, and nobody stressed any situation, and we just focused on the, what the individuals were saying. I just when I knew that we were here to play, and it's going to be a tough game for us to win if uh, we're playing like this. So coming up against Mouse now, the fact that they beat us last time in Pro League, uh, it matters more for us than them, I think. I think we have that motivation to want to beat them and get to our revenge here. For them, I also had their a little bit unfortunate, they don't play with their full lineup. So I think overall it's going to be a good game, but I think we have the upper hand coming into this game. Nice. They played super good yesterday, okay? We need to keep the same up. Okay, they're coming with confidence, they want to make a lot of gaming and all. But if we can break them, the crowd is against them, they're going to break down, okay? But we need to make sure that we play smart in the advances, especially in the beginning. And then we can start all peaking and play the way we play, okay? But let's keep the game plan and there's questions. We need to do right before the game starts now so that you can do that and refresh everything. And most of all, just fucking enjoy this, okay? It's fucking nice to play with you guys here. It's completely different. So let's keep it up, okay? One, two, three, cut! Let's go, boys! Yard. And already makes light work of one near two. Yeah, that's Reigns double with Carrigan's help. And Brokey's look done. at Brokey! It's perfect! Pack it up. Yeah, but they're finishing it with some style, some pizzazz here. Just like that. Torji hiding in plain sight. Twist, you can feel it coming! Let's fight. I say that. They're not ready for him. He advances with the spray. A double shut down from Twist. He's got another. Somebody. It has to be. He throws. They can't do anything. It's all Twist. Not happy with the way that first defense went for Twist. Can he possibly do more? Okay. He can. Twist. A masterclass. Complexity's opponent in that grand final. It will be FaZe. Another grand final in Sydney! And a return to form for the international super team. The originals taking down international squad after international squad on their path to a grand final. 2018, Carrigan and Ray, they've done it here before. And CS2 was the motivation that the dying light of FaZe Clan needed to light up the arena. We were pretty confident against Complexity. I mean, they were the underdogs in this final, but yet the only thing I would say was unexpected was the veto. Um, it's one of the first times we float Vertigo once again, and it's like a fresh uh, perspective as well, because it is CS2, it's not CSGO anymore. And we experimented here and there a few times, sometimes played off, sometimes it backfired. Why? Yes. Let's fucking enjoy this, okay? It's been a fucking pleasure to play here in Sydney. Down on though, okay? Let's fucking step up. Let's enjoy the moment. These guys are gonna come out swinging. Like, they're from the net. It's like the spirit game, guys. It's like the spirit game. It's the same shit. They're not supposed to be here, but they are fucking here now. We need to step up, play our game, and fucking go in and overpeak. Not overcook. Not overcook. <laughs> but overpeak, okay? Play our fucking game and play like Face Clan does.
Fuck Are yeah. Free? Yeah, let's do this. And what are they? One, One two, two, three, guys! Let's fucking go, Not boys! Again. And it's Brokey with a lightning fast opening. Indeed, as oh, there's another. Yeah. He really does it. He's getting flashed in. Oh, oh Brokey! Yes, no way! Brokey bleeding with the bomb. JT fragging up a storm. This in game leader. And complexity two kills away. Touching distance. Still room for error. Is Carrigan alone? And complexity. Oh, no way. Just need to bring him down. One man, he's gone. It's one round in it and broke it. It's all set. Woo! Once again, down the vent. Opening kill found. But still the top side under scrutiny. It's a good hold from Twist. Needed that one. Broke it. He's done it again. Grim needs to find the ball now. It's all on his shoulders and he's shut down. And Faze take us the distance. Reflex away from the 12. It's only a couple left, but just like that, the lead has cleared him out. It's up to Rain in the clutch, he nails the lead and JT once again has to come up clutch. 37! Oh! Rain! Flash is good, flash. he's so blind, Rain gets away, good moves! Oh dear! And Hauser, he's been the difference maker, but this time it's Rain! And Grim alone as FaZe Clan. I've heard him, it's done. It's certainly done! Breathes that in, a sound he'll never grow tired of. FaZe Clan, quiet this year, but coming into the new game with new vibrations. Oh, the fire in the belly, the motivation reignited. Counter-Strike 2 returns FaZe Clan back to the winning ways. Their second title of 2023, the second IEM Sydney for Rain, Twists, and Carrigan. What a performance. What a grand final. Throughout the playoffs, we had nothing but two zeros, blowouts across the board. And we get to the grand final, and we are given an absolute gift here. Some of the best Counter-Strike you're ever going to watch. Amazing scenes here, fantastic performance. Sydney, put your hands together, you're champions! From IEM Sydney 2023, it's FaZe Clan! Fucking won the first CS2 tournament. Now it's been rough the last few months, but yeah. Hope everyone saw, saw what we were cooking and what we brought into the game. It was, it was great um, from our side. Next for the team is, it's hard to say. We're just gonna take tournament by tournament and see how we do the next tournament. And hopefully we continue our uh, good streak as we had here. Uh, I think the goals for our team now is to keep working. Don't go on the back foot and uh, don't be satisfied just because if you win an event or two. We gotta keep grinding and it's just a start of a new game, so it's a long way ahead of us. Like we had 10 years of uh, CSGO, so if we wanna stay at the top and play tier 1 CS for, for as long as we can, then we gotta grind. A few hectic moments in the matches, but yeah, thanks for tuning in and everyone supporting us. Thank you, and uh, yeah, face the fuck up.